is a simplified world map. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. It's very simplified. And these represent obelisks in each continent. In reality, there is obelisks in each country of the continent. North America, Canada, USA, and Mexico. Each country has the obelisk as a major either monument or symbol and not in only one location, many locations, but it's a major national monument, usually, in most countries of the world. Each country in the world has a flag which separates the country from the other. But the obelisk being in each country of the world tells us really who is orchestrating a global one world government. It's the same people and their symbol is the obelisk throughout the time. The Egyptians, Pharaoh had the obelisk. Ad and Thamud God says they had pillars and rocks. The obelisk is a pillar. It's built of rocks. We have these three words, keywords in the Quran. Pillars, rocks, and obelisks. Or al autad in chapter 89. I'm going to read the couple of countries for you that I could not find any obelisks because these countries are very either very tiny or or they were not reached yet no obelisk was built over there yet in South America we have French Guiana Guiana Aruba Trinidad and Tobago and Falk Islands so five countries very small countries all other countries in South America Brazil Argentina Chile Venezuela they have this obelisk all of them in North America Turks and Caicos Island Cayman Island United States minor outlining islands Montserrat Saint Pierre and Miquelon British Virgin Islands Antigua and Baruba, Anguilla, U.S. Virgin Islands, Saint Barthélemy, Dominica, Grenada. So all these are islands. But I could not find any photos for obelisks. For there might be obelisks, but I, but I could not find. Now Africa, Ghana, Gabon, Liverville. Togo, Niger, Eswatini, Sierra Leone, Mauritania, and Chad. All other countries, they have the obelisk. Okay. In Europe, Monaco, Macedonia, Gibraltar, San Marino, Isle of Man. Well, Isle of Man is UK, really, so maybe it shouldn't be counted. Holland Islands. All other countries in Europe have the obelisk. What I just read are minor locations, very minor. Let's go to Asia. We have Maldives, Afghanistan, Brunei, Bahrain, East Timor, Christmas Island, British Indian Ocean Territory. There might be some obelisk in some of what I read, but I could not find, but all others they have, all the major countries. You, you can notice that I'm not reading any major countries like um, China, India, Japan, 
Russia. They all have this obelisk. Let's go to Oceania or Australia. To Kilau, Wallis and Putana, Pitcairn Islands, Cook Island, Tuvalu. All almost unknown, never heard of locations. However, Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand, they all have this obelisk. So you can see that obelisks around the world is a common phenomenon. Why is that? Even in, even in Muslim countries, you will find them. In Indonesia, you have Monas, very big obelisk, just next to, to a masjid. And in, um, in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca, we have an obelisk on top of Arafat, Mount Arafat. During Hajj pilgrimage, go up to Mount Arafat, should be commemorating God, but on top of that, Someone has placed an obelisk. And it's been there for many years. And this has to make us think, why is there an obelisk? Well, we know that during Hajj at uh, Mina, there used to be three obelisks that we stoned. Remember, we stoned them with the 21 pebbles. Now, these obelisks have been replaced by walls. It didn't help much. People are still dying there from the stampede. But they use that as, a, as an excuse. But if you look on old photos, people used to stone obelisks. Because the obelisk is the main symbol of Satan.